Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Do you got water pressure problems at your place? Well, I do too. And I'm going to share with you a fix that I just learned on a video. I want to share it with you on how to fix your water pressure problem. It may be just what you need. So right now you can see we got pretty decent water pressure, right? All right, I'll flush the toilet. And look how it decreased quite a bit. Water pressure is awful, right? Come over to the other sink, we'll turn it on, use up some more water. It's not good, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna look at first. All right, so if you're on a well system like I am, I automatically think it's my well pump, and I know it's gonna be costly, but not necessarily. Um, it could be your water pressure tank. This is the first item you should check. What I have here is, I have my, I have a valve here, I have my, gauge, my pressure gauge, and I have water shutoff valve to the rest of the hot house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the pressure in this tank and I'm gonna walk you through the steps. And I have a feeling that this is the issue that I'm having. So the first thing we're gonna do is shut the power off to the pressure tank right here. So we shut it off at the main breaker and I'm gonna shut it off here as well. So now my next step is I'm going to shut the water off to the rest of the house. And the reason for this is because you're going to have air in this tank doing this process and it's going to eliminate the air going to the rest of the water system. It'll just stay in this general area and less air to run through after when you turn the water back on. And we're going to go get a garden hose and I'm going to hook it up to this top here. And what's going to happen is when I release the water out of this pressure tank, the water is going to drain. I'm going to stick it in the drain in my floor. Okay, now we have to drain all the water from this pressure tank. So the way we're going to know that is right here. When all the water is drained out of the pressure tank, it's going to go down to zero. See, the water pressure is adjustable. These are in my notes here. And the water pressure is presently set to 50. Okay, one thing about draining the water from the pressure tank is it's going to release some sediment that sits in the bottom of your tank. So it's good to do this once in a while. That's why there is a valve here. So let's open it up and see what happens. Everything looks good the other end. Now on the gauge, it's gonna go down slowly and then all of a sudden it's gonna drop fast. And I know we can't see it on this gauge because it's pointing that way, but trust me, that's what happens. Okay, the gauge is now reading zero. So we have no more water pressure, no more water in the tank. Okay, now we're back at the pressure tank and we're looking at the top. You're gonna to see two caps. Don't worry about the one in the middle. This is the one you're looking for. You're gonna screw this off, this cap, and you're gonna see a valve here. It's like on your bicycle. And this is where we're gonna check the air pressure in this pressure tank. So this water pressure tank has a kick on PSI of 38 and it holds 50 pounds of pressure. So that means it'll kick off at 50 pounds of pressure. So we're gonna test this here. Make sure it's a good tight fit, Do you hear the air? And look at this, I got 10 pounds per square inch. Now that's the red PSI. I got 10 PSI in here, which is not good. I should be 28 PSI of air pressure. So we're gonna put some air in this tank. So I have a small air compressor here, but if you don't have an air compressor, don't worry. All you need is a bicycle pump and you can do the same thing and a gauge. So remember, this is my first time doing this. So if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so we're gonna add some air. And we're gonna bring this up to 28 PSI of air pressure. All right, now that we have the recommended 28 PSI into the tank, it's actually a little bit under, it's at 27. Okay, now that we've got our cap back on, we're gonna come down here. I've already closed this valve. We can take this hose off now. And what we can also do is turn our power back on, including this. We're also gonna turn the water on to the rest of the house. Open the valve. And when it reaches 50, you're gonna hear it click off. There we go, it clicked off at 50 PSI and it's kick in, it's gonna kick in at 38. Now your tank may be different, 
make sure you read the label on your tank make sure you know your tank so that you know how many psi it holds and when it kicks out or when it kicks in and how much air goes into your tank as well like i showed you here mine says 28 psi yours may be higher it's okay to put up to 28 psi but don't go any higher than 28 or whatever your pressure is don't go any higher than that all right we're going to test this we're going to turn on our tap here at the bathroom sink again that's even way more pressure than before very cool so now we're going to flush the toilet you can hear it flush no difference in the water pressure it's still on very good Try this one on too. Good pressure there. Two, two taps running. Still good pressure here. And the toilet's filling up at the same time. So I think we fixed our problem.